Hi guys, my name is Mboni Kenya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Long time no see. Well, we are in Tupa. Mkwaje, I hope everyone is doing well. This 2020 life just happened, but I'm here with a new video. If you're new, Karim Sana, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, you might be wondering, where is she going like this? And we are in lockdown, by the way. Um, in Melbourne, but I had to stay and go to the grocery shop. Yes, and then now I want to cook. This is something that I would have done. Uh, it's a recipe that some few people. I think I posted this meal, and people wanted to know how I make it because I'm making mukimo or kenyeji. Actually, it's kenyeji because it's um the green the green mukimo, but uh, some people cannot access the leaves that we use because back home we use uh, pumpkin leaves, um, that fine, tininito, um, but we use that and we also use mafake. But here we don't have that, and most people, most modern women who call Nairobi, who call big, big cities, we don't have the leaves. So I use peas to get the green effect. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can just mash potatoes and corn, but it doesn't look good. You have to add the green effect, right? So I'm not going to waste more of the time. I'm just going to jump in and let us start cooking. The that I'm using today, I have potatoes, which I've already peeled and washed. I have peas and I have corn. I have already boiled my peas and corn. If you're using sweet corn, make sure that you salt it, kind of over salt it while you're boiling it. And I have onion, I have oil, and I have salt. Some people just prefer boiling everything, which is okay, but I prefer frying my potatoes from the word go so I don't have to fry my mukimo later. While I'm frying my onion, I make sure it doesn't turn uh, golden brown, otherwise it will be visible when I'm mashing my mukimo. So I'll just go ahead and add my potatoes. I'm really sorry guys, I do not measure my ingredients, I just use my eyes. I am sorry. So I'll leave my potatoes to fry a bit and then I will add some water. For the water, you can just add your water to up to the level that your potatoes are at and then I just cover that and leave it to cook I'll go ahead and start making my stew as my potatoes are cooking so for the stew I'm going to do beef fry you can use whatever you want either meat or veggies it's up to you so i'm just seasoning my meat and adding all the spices that i like and since i like my meat soft i'm going to add some water and leave it to cook after some time i will add some capsicum and I will leave that to steam as well. And after some minutes, I will add my tomatoes. Leave them to cook and look at that. I mean, I'm hungry. This is so appetizing. The stew is ready guys, so I hope you're checking your potatoes at this point. So my potatoes are cooked, not overcooked, but cooked, so I'm going to add the corn so that it can suck in the flavor. And I'll leave that for a bit. I'm just checking that my potatoes are ready. So you can use a fork or something to just kind of poke your potatoes. So i just leave that and go ahead and start blending my peas so I'll add some water you don't want to add a lot of that because then it's going to be so runny you don't want it runny 
just keep stirring it makes it easier to blend you can actually just mash your peas you don't have to blend it and this is what I got so it's not that runny and then I drained the water and I left my stuff on to make sure that I drain everything that I don't have any water in there and then when I'm satisfied I will go ahead and start mashing this potato masher is everything everything it's very easy to use it I mean look at this at this point you can call this mokimo but just look like mashed potatoes for it to be Kenya it have to be it has to it has to be green so I feel like peas are the main ingredient here so I'm just going to add my peas I mean look at that the color is already coming in and now our corn is visible I mean I can tell that I'm not eating mashed potatoes so guys if you didn't fry your potatoes you can add your onion here you can just fry your onion separately and then just add it you do not have to though some people don't like mokimo fried and it's all right I just love mine fried So this is ready I mean look at that can just can't wait to eat this looks so delicious looks so good so I'm just going to plate this oh okay I may have to end this video now <laughs> so I've uh, plated mine with some avocado and I have some beef and some steamed um, cabbage and yeah I think I have to end this video and go and eat this right so thank you so much for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye